Another InDesign quick tip by Fatfly Design. When you work with images in Adobe InDesign, we place those from Photoshop or from Illustrator into Adobe InDesign. And then we add them to each page of our document. So if I have a book that I'm working on that maybe has, you know, 50, 100 different placed images in there, that can be quite a bit for the computer to process. Well, there's a setting that's set by default that can be a bit confusing to beginners. So let's look at what I have here. I have two images that I, one of them I placed from Photoshop, that's the fish up here, and one of them I placed from Adobe Illustrator. It's a vector-based logo that I have here. Okay, now when I place this in here, I look at it and it looks really bad. The quality is very poor. It's got jagged edges. I created this over an Illustrator. I know that an Illustrator is a very high quality, crisp graphic. So when I place this in here, if I don't know any better, I might look at this and, and get a little worried. This looks bad. Is it going to look like this when I print out the final? project. Now the good news is it won't. The problem is this. By default in Adobe InDesign if I go to view display performance the default setting is typical display and so what they're doing is they're saying by default when you place an image in here we're not going to redraw this at its high res form it's you know nice and clean and crisp because it'll slow down the computer so we're just going to leave it set at this typical display it'll show you what it is but it'll draw a low resolution version of it so it's quicker to work now I have to say almost all the time in InDesign maybe I'm lucky because I'm working on a pretty a pretty nice computer with plenty of RAM I don't like this feature so I always go to view display performance high quality display notice how the graphic suddenly is redrawn at its full resolution it's nice and clean and crisp well the same thing happened here with the photograph so let's go back to view display performance typical display now it's a bit harder to see in a pixel based image but look how pixelated and how rough this is but if I go to view display performance high quality display notice how that gets much cleaner and it looks like the original image does over in Photoshop so my advice to you if you're working on a computer that has plenty of RAM and it's not slowing you down any I would always work in high quality display the only time I ever go to typical display is if I'm having problems with my computer running a bit slow and as I go through page by page of my document it's really taking a long time to redraw those graphics that's when I want to switch over or switch back to that typical display there's one other setting in here fast display that will simply turn all your graphics into these gray boxes There's nothing wrong with the graphics we haven't gotten rid of them it just allows me to work much much quicker so be aware of this display performance setting I suggest working on a high quality display unless for some reason you need to work at a lower quality display so you can work faster. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.